Good evening. Welcome to ITV News. This is Thursday night's calendar. And here are tonight's main stories. For first tonight, a month since the government announced a third lockdown, business owners in a Lincolnshire coastal town say they need to be given a route out of their financial nightmare. Last year, research suggested Mablethorpe could be one of the most economically hard-hit towns in the country. More than 40% of people work in sectors that are currently shut down. But with predictions of record numbers of so-called staycations this summer, the town's businesses see an opportunity and they don't want it to be wasted. Emma Wilkinson reports. A report today from the food bank charity The Trussell Trust it claims that a fifth of people receiving the benefit will very likely need to rely on emergency food if the cut goes ahead. David Hurst reports now from Hull. Well, next to a mental health crisis around pregnancy, with a growing number of new mothers not accessing the support they so desperately need during lockdown. Well, we'll hear from the Royal College of Midwives shortly, but first Astrid Quinn spoke to one mother of four who'd reached crisis point before finally seeking help. Well, today is one of the biggest mental health awareness days of the year and on this Time to Talk Day, everyone's being reminded of the power of conversation as we spend more time apart. Especially when fresh figures reveal that around half of people in Yorkshire and Northern Lincolnshire feel that they should have taken time off work, but only one in five actually did. Derek Johnson reports. Couldn't be easier. Please do talk to each other. Still to come on the programme this evening. Thanks very much, Mary. Well, as the number of coronavirus-related deaths in the UK went above 110,000 today, the number of deaths in our region's hospitals has sadly... Which brings us to rapid tests for COVID-19, and many schools and local authorities right across the region have been looking at their value to get life back to some kind of normality. An investigation by ITV's Tonight programme has found there are serious questions over their accuracy. Hundreds of millions of pounds has already been spent on them to try and catch COVID infections. But many experts say there's a risk that many positive cases are not picked up. Nick Smith reports. Well, I've got some football for you now. Rotherham United picked up a valuable win in their quest to avoid relegation from the Championship last night. Well, finally tonight, lockdown has given many people time to think about their passions. But one teenager from the North East is helping to raise money for special causes in Lincolnshire by turning his passion into a book. Yes, 14-year-old Jack Berry, who has a form of autism, has combined his love of aircraft and painting to produce the book Flying High in the Sunlit Silence. Well, Chris Jepson went to see a very talented young man. Well done, Jack. Well Brilliant done, Jack. stuff, wasn't it? Fantastic. Fan fantastic pictures that he's producing there. Helping everybody. Now we have a picture too. of the weather for you, I'm afraid, and uh, it's not looking too brilliant. Mm. John, thanks very much indeed. That's it from us. Our next update is at 10.30 tonight. The national and international stories are next with Mary Nightingale. But for now, from all the team on calendar, thanks very much indeed for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye. Good night. Well, next, a food bank in Hull fears it will be inundated with requests from those in need if the government scraps the £20 uplift to universal credit at the end of April. A report today from the food bank charity The Trussell Trust claims a fifth of people receiving the benefit will very likely need to rely on emergency food if the cut goes ahead. Here's David Hurst.